what up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Player Review. Let's take a look at another very popular Premier League player that I think a lot of people want to use at the very start of this game. It is Wilfred Zaha. So, the 82 rated Ivory Coast attacker who plays for Crystal Palace. He actually comes out of packs and stuff as a centre forward. But uh, just looking at the stats there, I figured I, I wanted to play him further up. I wanted to use him as a default out and out striker. He's got 91 pace. Uh, he's got 87 dribbling, he's got 74 shooting, 73 passing, 72 physical. Those stats aren't great, but I do really like the look of that pace and dribbling. Uh, he's 5'11 with the high medium work rates. He's right footed with only a 3 star weak foot, but what he does possess is those perfect 5 star skill moves. And that is obviously one of the reasons why he's super popular. That's one of the reasons why he holds uh, a higher price than other 82 rated strikers in the Prem. So... We can take a little look at the in-game stats for this player by moving over to his attribute details. Uh, once again, like a lot of the reviews I've been doing lately, uh, Marksman is the chemistry style of choice for me today uh, because it just gives awesome stuff to all of the shooting stats and I feel like that's definitely an area we needed to work on for Zaha, right? Getting him into the 80s for attack positioning, 88, uh, 87 finishing now, uh, 82 shot power, like 77 long shots. That's not great, but it's definitely a help it's way better than 67, right? So uh, doing that was, was beneficial to us. Also getting him into the 90s for agility, ball control, and plus five on that dribbling. 95 dribbling on Zaha on this 82 rated player. That's really, really good. Uh, and well, to be fair, like I don't think the strength and stuff is really going to help, but you know it's there and it's, it's an added bonus from the marksman chem style. So moving on in to a couple of different squad options then. The first one, yes, there's there's some Prem players in here, but it's like a, a Bundesliga. It's, it's a bit of a mixed team. So mainly I wanted to use different players that weren't just from the Prem. Uh, so we've gone with Philip from um, from Dortmund up front. We've got Goretzka in the team, Naldo. Some really strong players in there. Uh, and then some some of the, the other popular Premier League stars. And then, of course, we have uh, the full-on out-and-out Premier League team, which is what I actually used him in as a lone striker in a 4-3-2-1. And, well, he does have a couple of forwards playing with him there. You might recognize him, Anthony Martial, and of course, player of the month, Lucas Moura from Spurs. A nice team, uh, lots of amazing players in there. One thing I would, wouldn't would recommend though, uh, I don't really like that 84 rated Petr Cech informing goal. I, I just don't really rate him, you know, it's, it's just... Uh, for some reason, I was conceding left, right, and center with him. So if there was one player to stick away from in this team, uh, I might suggest it's Petr Cech. <laughs> Maybe go for a regular Edison or something like that. Um, so we can now move on into the clips and you'll see some of the goals that I was able to score and then some of the stuff that didn't quite work its way into the back of the net. Uh, and we can talk about positives and negatives. We'll start with the negatives first. Strength was an issue, you know... I had a little bit of hope there when I saw we were push pushing up towards the like the, the late 70s, nearly into the 80s for his strength. Uh, but it just wasn't the case. You know, he's a very slim, slender, uh, like trickster of a player. So actually, he does just get barged off the ball quite quickly if, uh, if people can get near him, that is. Uh, and then long shots weren't brilliant. You know, I scored most of the stuff from inside the box with Wilfred Zaha or, of course, from volleys and stuff. But we know they're OP on this game, right? Uh, and then curve wasn't f spectacular. The stuff that I was scoring, I think, yeah, they might might have been finesse shots, but the the odd few that I tried for si from similar situations that I did with like Martial, which flew in the back of the net, didn't quite do so for for Wilfred Zaha. And that might just go to show you that you know his curve wasn't quite as good, and and you know Martial's got better shooting. The stats are sort of self-explanatory, aren't they? Really, but those are the things I didn't like. There is a lot of stuff that I did like, uh, and overall, I would give a, a pretty positive impression for this player. He did really well for me. Um, firstly, pace. Pace is good. Pace is really, really good. We're talking amazing acceleration sprint speed uh, for what it's worth on FIFA 19. You know, off the ball pace seems to be brilliant. Now, we have insane agility uh, and incredible ball control and dribbling this is for for a player this low rated he really does move on the ball incredibly well like literally messy like it's fantastic uh, and the fact that he's got five star skill moves at his disposal as well he is definitely one of the the trickiest players on the game who can dribble with it incredibly well so uh, nothing but positive things to say about that that's for sure that's that's the best area uh, of zaha's game is the way that he trickily moves with the ball 
uh, and the way the things that he can do with the ball at his feet, basically. Um, but what I did like about him, and it's it's less the the shots from outside the box. It's it's more the getting inside the box, getting into that one on one situation. He's super composed. I actually found him to to when I did get through one on one. He most of the time he pretty much finished it, and that impressed me quite a lot. That's that's where a lot of my goals came from. Or he was he was in the right position. He had the right reactions and stuff to to pull away from the pull away from the defenders, get close to a goalkeeper, intercept the ball, tackle the goalkeeper and kick it in the back of the net, those sorts of things. That's what that's what was great about Wilfred Zaha. Uh, and then finally his finishing just, you know, when he was through on goal, he seemed to be able to net it a lot of the time. So, a very positive review on the Ivory Coast attacker from Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Uh, I do rate him. I can see why he holds the price tag that he does. Yes, he's skillful. Yes, he's a good one to use in the Prem. Maybe put him next to someone like Arnautovic, who's a big guy. And I think you've got a really, really good strike force there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.